Hello, welcome. This is uh, Prophet Femi Hashim. Uh, we were looking at a particular question that has become very popular lately, especially against the backdrop of the coronavirus. Many people are asking, why can't pastors heal coronavirus? I think I've, somebody still called me yesterday to ask me that question. And the first answer is this. Pastors cannot heal anything. Pastors don't heal. It's only God who heals. It is an unfortunate situation that we have um, some servants of God who have claimed to be healers, who have arrogated healing powers to themselves, who have made their members to believe they have healing powers. And we have seen situations where some members, because they think their pastors are powerful, they are not going there, they are not disobeying the Lord of the Lamb because they think God is powerful. They are thinking our pastors are powerful because some pastors are, they are making not very safe bold statements about, God, about themselves. So pastors cannot heal anybody. It is only God who heals. Now I go back to healing. Somebody says, man of God, how about if they bring somebody who has coronavirus to you to heal? And I gave the person an answer. I said, either it is coronavirus or it is not coronavirus. If you bring anybody to a genuine servant of God to pray for, the servant of God will only pray according to divine direction. Because we had the, uh, the person, the, where the question was going, the person was asking me, uh, how about if they bring somebody who has coronavirus and you have to lay hands on the person? The Bible says you mustn't lay hands on anybody suddenly. You must hear before you lay hands. If you don't hear God say lay hands and you lay hands and it's a communicable disease, you can't catch the disease. Now, however, if God says lay hands, his power is in that hands. He's just using you as a physical contact to heal. It is him who wants to do things. And if it is God who has instructed you to lay hands, you can lay hands. We have examples in the Bible where Jesus healed people with a leprosy. And these are people that the people in the community do not even touch and Jesus will touch them. And I can tell you I've, um, I've had privileges to pray for people who have been healed. And there are times I'll be praying, God will tell me, don't touch anybody, and God will heal. There are times God will tell you, make declaration. I think I remember one of the most popular testimonies, 2015, where a gentleman was in a service and said, what happened in that service was, I was praying, then I said, I put oil, I, I asked people to stretch for their hands, and I put oil, and I said, touch wherever you have problem. And he said he touched his right eye, if I remember correctly, and he got healed. God could have used 1,001 ways to heal. And even if there is a calamity in the land, and God did not send you as a servant of, as a servant of God to go and heal, don't try it. Don't go and do it. And I will repair, I will close this particular a session by saying no pastor can heal god only can heal he only heals through divine instruction even go and check the healings of jesus there are times he speaks there are times he touches there's a place he apply the mud healings comes in different forms and shapes but the strength of every man of god who has any gift from god is you follow divine direction thank you very much